Hey guys, this is Silvis. Today I'm doing a video which is a little bit different and I'm going to go uh, through my pencil cases, what I keep in my pencil cases and where I take them to. So my biggest pencil case at the moment is this guy and I really like the pattern, that's why I got it even though it was for kids. Um, it has two departments and I really like to divide my art supplies into multiple pouches so I'll get like easier access to different art supplies. So this one is more for pencils and what I have in here is a Pentel pink eraser, the palette color Eno, uh, which is a really nice pencil. I do like to sketch with it. And I am completely obsessed with colored pencils, especially the red and blue ones. So I have a huge collection of these. This one particularly is by Milan, which is a nice company. Um, yeah, so this is what I use to sketch most of my things. Uh, this one is kind of like a kid's pencil. This is one of those rainbow pencils where you have uh, multiple colors in the lid. So this one is uh, blue, yellow, and red. I like to use it for gesture drawings because they're kind of like the same. So sometimes I would like to spice it a little bit with color. Okay, moving on. I think this is the most important part and these are my favorite art supplies. So these are the Pit Pure Graphite um, pencils by Faber-Castell. These are woodless pencils, as you can see, and I use them way too much, especially this HB guy. Um, I use it for shading, for realistic paintings, for basic shading, and I rarely go into the 9B. So 9B is like for darkest parts. 3B is like somewhere in between. So these three guys, these are like my, my favorite pencils. For, okay. Uh, I kind of ruined my nail. <laughs> okay, um, this is a 2B pencil by Winsor & Newton, nothing fancy in here, I got it as a gift. So I use it for sketching. Um, other sketching pencils that I have in here are the 5B Create a Color Fine Art Graphite Pencil and I, if the pencil smudges a lot, I usually put like this um, eraser cap on top of it to prevent it from smudging in my pencil case. That's how I keep my pencil cases clean. And yeah, this is my main tool for sketching. This is the Faber-Castell um, two millimeter lead uh, pencil. I usually use it in HB and Faber-Castell, they're kind of, they have a very hard lead, so HB usually feels like H. Okay, going on next. Um, these are two. I have two of these. Okay, so these are the Faber-Castell Pit Oil Base Pencils. This one is hard and this one is soft. I mostly use the hard one. These guys, they're amazing. They feel like charcoal, by the, but they don't smudge that much. And you can work with them like pencils, but they give you this um, nice charcoal effect without like chipping and without all the prob problems that you have when you're using charcoal. So these are amazing and I highly recommend you trying them out. Um, they're good for finished art and they're good for gestures, uh, usually like longer gestures. So yeah, these are really awesome. Um, okay, so this is a, res a recent present that I got from my friend. This is a charcoal pencil and it's kind of a weird brand. It's like dear something Chinese and probably very cheap. Um, it has a cup, of course, because charcoals, they're really, really dirty. And it's just like a woodless pencil, but it's charcoal. So that's really cool. I use it for sketching from time to time. And yeah, I really like it. So moving on next. This is the Faber-Castell Perfection, and I think this is an eraser on one side and this is a blender on the other. I actually use both of them as erasers, but this one is pink and this one is white, and the way they feel on the paper is very different. So I, I'm not really sure how to use it, but I just use it as an eraser on both sides. This is my mechanical pencil. Um, this is a 0 0.5 monograph by Tombow and I really like this guy. Uh, it has a very weird mechanism, um, like you have to press here to get the lead out. And it has a really big eraser. So if you're using the eraser on your pencil, this might be a really good choice. 
last and probably least is actually just a normal HB2 pencil which is not even meant for art but you know I sketch gestures with it and I usually use the 5B pencil to um, you know go over some lines that I want to make darker in my gesture drawings. I also keep this guy. Um, I want to fill it with a uh, gray wash but I always forget to do so so for now it's just with some water in it. Okay so moving on to the second department here. I have a small zip bag with two uh, sharpeners. This one is Studler and this is for normal pencils and this one is by Faber-Castell and this one is meant for two millimeter lead like the Faber-Castell that I showed you before. Okay. This is my kneaded eraser and the more I use it the more I fall in love with it so I want to carry it everywhere with me and you want to protect those because they have this tendency of grabbing hair and garbage from all around and then you have to throw them away so they're better be protected by some case I just keep it in the original plastic case this is a white pen by Pentel I don't know how good it is because I don't use these uh, pens that much I usually use the Posca pen or something else but for some reason I keep carrying this one with me so I can't really tell how good it is This is my Credicolor Ecologic, um, I don't know, uh, this is a lead holder, right? So this is a lead holder and I think it's 5.5 millimeter lead, it's really thick. And the reason um, this one is white charcoal in here, that's what I usually use instead of the white pens. And I have this amazing book of uh, different uh, refills for this pen. So I have I have charcoal, I have 6B lead, I have 2B lead, I have sepia and uh, yeah I have like different shades of brown so if I keep these two in my pencil case it's pretty much like having an entire set of charcoal stuff um, and sanguine and stuff like that you know. This is a really cool uh, ruler that I have. It's extendable if needed. It measures angles. I got it from Singapore and I really like this guy. A regular ballpoint pen. Um, got it from like a dollar store. Um, really enjoy it. It's really pretty. Everyone knows this brush. This is the Pentel pocket brush. Um, nothing much to say here. I'm, I don't use it that much. I feel like it's very difficult to control. I prefer pens. Okay, liners. Um, I have the Faber-Castell um, fine liner, which is kind of thick. And then I have the Micron 0.1 liner, which is much thinner. I don't use liners that much for the same reason I don't use the brush that much. Okay, so these guys, this is an obsession I have since Singapore. You'll see me use them all the time. Like I have uh, at least two of these pens in each and every one of my pencil cases. This is the black one and this is the red one. And the good thing about the red one is that it's not waterproof. So after you make your mark, you can just go over with a brush or with some water and then it will fade into a nice pink. So you can actually paint with this uh, pen and that's what I'm using it for. Okay, so the last item in this pencil case is a uh, warm gray by touch 5 marker and I don't use it that much but I do use it when I uh, paint vehicles or landscapes and I want to get it like darker so yeah this guy and that's it for this pencil case that's all I've got in here that's a lot when you think about it so my next pencil case is this one this is a very cute small pencil case that I got from AliExpress for very cheap. And this is the pencil case that I usually take to work with me. It's kind of nice size and I can actually fit a lot of art supplies in there. So of course I'm obsessed with colored pencils, so there's another one. 
I have these two liners uh, by Micron. This is a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.3. This is a very small eraser. I think it's by Papermate or Factus, one of these companies. And that's just, you know, for very small details. Faber Castell is, I think, my favorite brand ever. This is just a B pencil, but I think it's a fake Faber Castell, so it might be actually like, it kind of behaves like an HB. So I just keep it there as an HB. Um, this is a really nice pencil that I got from Miniso, to those of you who are familiar with this uh, brand from Japan. And I think it's for writing on discs, but I just use it for line art. I really enjoy this pen. A regular uh, mechanical pencil in 0 0.5 and then the Pilot color Eno that I barely use in purple because this is a really pretty color. Now this uh, this is a brush tip marker and this is by Miniso. I haven't tried it yet, it's sealed as you can see, but I really want to try it soon. That's why I keep it in my pencil case so it will be available when I finally decide to try it. Okay, moving on. Uh, just a regular ballpoint pen. I think you've noticed that I have like a ballpoint pen in each and every one of my uh, pencil cases because I like to sketch with them. I don't really care about the brand because they're pretty much all the same. This is a Rotring, again, two millimeter lead um, pencil holder, lead holder. I like these guys. They're, they're great for sketching and they're just like never ending pencils. Again, same story as my previous pencil case. I have the Pilot GTEC C4 in uh, black and red. And again, uh, an HB Faber-Castell uh, full lead pencil, which I really like. And this is like something I can't give up on ever. Like, I love it. And this is a brush pen by Pigma Sakura. I pretty much ruined this one, so I have no idea why I keep it um, with me. I guess I am I just can't go out without uh, some kind of a pocket brush thing. So yeah, the, these are the Factus eraser and the Mapped um, uh, sharpener with container that I carry with me um, in this pencil case. I have a lot of erasers. I have a lot of sharpeners. Um, sometimes I would carry this one by Faber-Castell. This is something that I recently purchased and I would like to try. So yeah, this is my second pencil case. So last but not least is my smallest pencil case. And I take this guy with me when I don't have much space or I'm going for a very short amount of time and I probably won't have time to draw or paint. So I don't have to carry a lot of things with me. Okay, so what I have here, another palette, uh, another Miniso pencil, pen, pen, yeah, it is a pen. Um, HB by Faber-Castell, this time this one is an original HB, so I can sketch with it. This is definitely, uh, I think, my most expensive uh, mechanical pencil ever. This is the Graph Gear 1000 by Pentel but in a 0 0.5. Nice for sketching, really nice for drawing and writing. Of course, I always carry at least one um, heavy B pencil, um, which is 4B in this case, for gesture drawings, for like, uh, you know, making some of the lines darker. These are actually very interesting. I got these from Russia and this is recycled newspaper. You can actually read the news in here. And these are uh, pencils, this one is blue, this one is red, and even though the quality is not that good, for some reason I really like these pencils. And here uh, in these capsules they have like seeds, so once you finish the pencil you can plant the seed in the ground and you'll grow like different stuff. So that's really cool. I have um, this small eraser, I don't like this kind of erasers, like all those mechanical erasers are pretty bad and I'm aware of it, but there is no way I can put another eraser in such a pencil case. So that's what I carry with me. Of course, uh, a two, no, that's an HB2 Rembrandt um, pencil, like, you know, woodless pencil, like I always carry with me because I use it for shading. So this guy is pretty unique and I usually keep it in, um, like I switch it between different pencil cases because I really like it and I only have one. This is a fountain pen and it's really nice to sketch with. I really like its lines 
and yeah so I keep it in multiple pencil cases another color you know 0 0.7 I think it's kind of funny how I have a different color in each and every one of my pencil cases I like this guy um, don't use it that much unfortunately again but you know for very light drawings in nature yeah usually when I carry this pencil case there is a chance that I'm taking my portable palette with my portable brushes with me and I'm probably going to do some watercolor I might uh, and that's why I'm keeping this brush in here this is my biggest um, travel watercolor brush that I have uh, it's really wide and all the travel brushes the other travel brushes that I have they're not that big so I always keep like a big option um, in my pencil case before yeah. we finish I would like to tell you that I'm a huge uh, pencil case hoarder and I'm obsessed with getting pencil cases and switching between them so I have other pencil cases that I sometimes um, switch between them uh, sometimes I'm sick of one pencil case so I would take a different one so this one is really cool uh, it has this mesh bottom and if you want to sketch somewhere you just do this and then you have like a pen holder which is really cool and it stands on your desk and you can grab stuff from here and then very easily turns into a pencil case so that's cool another guy that i have and i highly recommend to all of you it's the smart fit by lehit lab lit lab i don't know how to pronounce it um this one is really great so it has a pocket on one side and then it has this uh, nice book style pencil case on the other side so sometimes i would use this guy and this guy and of course last but not least i have this etcher lab pencil case which is definitely the most expensive pencil case that i ever had and i really really like it i use it occasionally especially if i'm going on a very long trip and i want everything to be organized uh, it does have some art supplies in here but you know i haven't used it for a while so these are not very relevant so yeah, I'm done with this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and giving it a like and a thumbs up. And yeah, please comment below what you think, what you use, what are your favorite art supplies that you can't go on without and you always keep in, your, in all of your pencil cases if you're addicted like me. See you next time. Bye!